Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. As you might notice, things are a little bit different than what you are probably used to and that's for a reason, but we will be talking about long knives, so let's start. So yeah, a bit of a special occasion, really, because this is actually going to be the first video in what is to be a series. But before we go into what we actually have planned and what exactly we're going to do, maybe a bit of a small introduction, just in case this is the first time for you actually seeing us. So my name is Peter. This one here is Ulrich. We are both part of the Freifechter. Our club was founded in the year 2000, so it's actually one of the oldest clubs for historical fencing, specifically in Germany, though, to be fair, that was before both of us fencing, actually. Nevertheless, Peter and me both have been training Messer and other stuff and fencing with each other for more than 10 years now. And um, this is today actually the first time we are together in front of the camera without immediately trying to hit each other and fence with each other. So yeah, if you know our channel, then you know that we have actually been using quite a number of Landsknecht Emporium products over the years. We've also been reviewing them. Uh, if you don't know that, you know, check out the videos, really. We actually have an old Proto Gottfried. Actually, we have two still in use, and those were bought in 2016, and were actually the first steel messers that we ever bought. And they're still in use. They're still trucking along. So yeah, we have been in contact with Landsknecht Emporium since then. We have met them in real life and divided between the both of us, we own a bunch of blades uh, and messers um, specifically made by Landsknecht Emporium and or Adam Bodoric. Yeah, so that is just something that you should probably just keep in the back of your head when watching these videos. And in talking to Landsknecht Emporium recently, the question came up, why do messers break? Of all the blades, all the methods, all the knives we have in use, not a single one has broken yet. We do know, though, that does happen. Methods break. Um, either we can see it in videos, well documented, or we hear it from people talking to us. So the question is really, why hasn't it happened to us yet? Is it just because we fence differently, where we just maybe extremely lucky, though, as Ulrich said before, we have a number of them in use, both personally and within our club. So we thought maybe we can do a little collaboration on this and see what we can contribute and maybe find out why does it happen. Now, the goal of this project is to close in on the question, why do messers break? Is it either because of the material used to produce them or the manufacturing process? Or is it because the way people use them, like fencing and handling wise? And since we are approaching this from the practical side, we are in the end fencers, that's what we do, we thought that is what we could contribute. We could just go and use these messers in a way we sh think you should use them, see what that does to the blade, and also then document what happens if we use them in a way we think you maybe shouldn't. And since this is a collaboration, Landsknecht Emporium can contribute with their expertise and experience in the manufacturing process. And they also gave us some material to test on. Yeah, so they sent us two parcels, or three actually, with six knives. You can see four pictured here. We basically have a number of Gottfrieds, six things, two of both. And we have two shafts, but they're not on the table because they're sharp. Okay, what are we going to do? Of course, we will fence with all the messers the way we usually fence. We'll document what that does to the blades. We'll also fence how we think you shouldn't actually fence and see what that does. Also, since we are in the very privileged position now of having six thins and shafts, what we can do is compare the thicks to the thins in their handling and both of them to the sharp and just see how they behave compared to each other. However, even though we will try to fence with them 
the way we think you should not fence with them. We will not try to deliberately flat out destroy them because any sword will break if you put enough deliberate abuse into it. And throughout the whole project, we will, of course, be checking back with Landsknecht Symposium just to get their input on what happened to the blade, how they are developing through the use and misuse, light misuse in some cases. So they also can give us pointers on uh, what to do next or what they would have expected differently. So for a quick summary, in talking Landsknecht Emporium and we agreed on taking on a collaboration and testing some of their methods. So what we'll do is we'll use them, we'll fence in a good way, we'll fence in a bad way, and then we will just check on the wear and tear that develops on them, be it thicks, be it the thins or the sharps when we actually use them for cutting. We're excited to invite you to join us on this journey and we're looking forward to see you next time. Cheers.